I'll give you one more hint. If you like uh, Apple, iPad, uh, games, this is the name. It's a name of an iPad game. It's her favorite iPad game. <laughs> yes, it's a question. Yeah. Yes. No, no, that's a W. That's a W. That's a good W there. I like that. <laughs> what? Where am I what? Where's my what? <laughs> You're very close. You're right. Okay. <laughs> We're, we almost have the answer here. Where is my water? Water, 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 water. Where is my water? And water, that's good for why. Water, that's water, water. So. My daughter, what is she doing that's good? She's hearing the language, she hears the language, and she's trying to write it down. She's writing what she hears. The spelling is all wrong because English spelling and English pronunciation are pretty different. But she's doing a good job hearing the language. This is water, yeah, that's water. Water, that, that's really good. She wrote water. And as, you know, as a parent, as her father, you say, hey, good job, thank you, that's really good. And with your students, don't worry about their spelling too much, okay? If they get close, if they get the sound, you should be happy, that's okay, all right? So pronunciation and spelling are different. All right, now I'm gonna give you some time we're going to do a little review. So I want to go back to this chart right here. And I want you to write all the sounds of English into the chart. Okay? Please, please, please do not, do not go to handout number four because that's the answer. Okay? This is the question. And this is the answer. So don't use that. Just try to write on here all the sounds of English. Okay? And maybe use a, use a pencil so you can erase if you make any mistakes. Okay? Uh, and talk. Talk to your friends. Talk to your partners. Try to write all the sounds of English in here in five minutes. Okay? But don't cheat, okay? Don't use handout number four. So I will help you a little for right here, bilabial, stop. You should have a p and a b. P and b right there, p and b. Okay, so continue. I will come and check. <laughs> so like I said, handout number four, handout four is all the answers. They're here and they're up here. I'm over here now and I think I have examples of all of the sounds here on the board. So you might have to turn a little, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go across the top like this and show you example sounds for each. So we have P and B. I have pit and bit, pit and bit. And then we have T and D. I have tip and dip, okay, tip and dip. And then I have K and G. Kick, go, 
Okay, these are all pretty easy, no problem. Next, maybe you don't know. What is this question mark? What's that sound? The question mark. What sound is that? On the chart, it's called a glottal stop. What's a glottal stop, anyone? Maybe a new word for you. <laughs> okay. So I wrote water up here, water. How do we say water in American English? In American English, we usually say water, water, water. That's kind of like a D sound, water, okay? But in, Brit in British English, some British English, not all, some British English, they say something else. They say it more like this. Water. 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 You have to stop. Water. Water. Where's my water? Water. Okay. That is called this, a glottal stop. You're stopping the air. Stop in the back. Water. Water. Okay. We don't do it in American English. We do do it in British English sometimes. Water. Where is my water? I am British. You'll hear sometimes. British. He's British. I'm British. That's a glottal stop. Okay, so that's the question mark. And then I have fat and that. And I have thin and then. And remember, these are different sounds in English. Thin, not voiced, then voice. Okay. I have sip, zip, sip, zip. I have, this is sh, wish, edge, wish, okay. edge, edge. Good. Uh, that's there, the M. Matt, the N, no, bang, mm, mm, mm. okay, bang, 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 mm, mm, mm. but remember my language, English, is different from Thai because in English, this can only go at the end of words, only at the end. You can't put mm at the beginning of words. But in Thai, in your language, you can. You can put the sound at the beginning. So for me, or for anyone learning Thai, it's hard to put this sound, mm, at the beginning of a word. It sounds very bad to me because of my first language is English. Okay, so that's mm, and that's right here, mm. Okay, and then I have L, L, Low, l, 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 low, difficult, I know. R, row, row. That's the R here that's upside down. That's the R. And the W, white, white, white. This is the one thing where I kind of don't like the chart because I think there's only one sound here. There's not really two. I think the W and the W are the same thing. I think it's right here, white, whoop, whoop, whoop. And the J is not a J, it's a Y sound, y like yellow, yellow, yellow. Not j j j jello because that's edge. So the, the J is actually a, a Y sound, yellow. Okay. Okay. So I would like you to take uh, two minutes, three minutes, use these words, use your paper, maybe talk to your partner, practice and listen, practice and listen. And I will try to listen too. Okay. And if you have any questions, then ask me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one more thing before our break. Uh, my daughter's name is Nara Chan. Nara. 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 Now, Nara. Nara. 
Her name comes from Japan. And in Japanese language, they have an R like you have an R. So Thai people are really good at my daughter's name. They say, Nara, Nara, Nara. Good, that's perfect. That's my daughter's name, Nara. But in American English, it's a different R sound, right? American people say Nara, Nara, Nara. It's different. So, in your language, in Thai, the R sound, what do you do with your tongue? Your tongue goes up to the top of your mouth. Na ra, 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 ra. Touches the top of your mouth. In English, no. In English, the tongue is right in the middle of your mouth. Does not touch anything. Na ra, ra, na ra. Na ra. The first two on the top are shh and zzz. That's voiceless and voice. Shh. And the affricate, affricate here is T S H. That's shh, like which, which, which. And D Z H, like edge, edge. Okay, so those are the symbols that are here. The fricative and the affricate. Okay. And there's one more symbol just in case anyone's confused about it. That thing that looks like an N with the long tail on it, that's the NG sound. Mmm, bang, bang. Okay, so any other questions about the, the letters that are on here? I know it's kind of confusing and different for you. Any questions here? Uh, okay. I have a question for this and the theta and the thing that kind of looks like that. Those two. These are both the th sound. Okay. That's th right here is th like thin, thin, and right here is th like the the the. That's voiced and voiceless. The thin the okay voiceless and voiced so what you need to remember in english almost always there's two there's a voiced and a voiceless there's voiceless and then there's the vibration there's vibration. There's ch and j. English sounds usually come in two, voiced and voiceless. And that's different from Thai, I know. Okay, any other questions in here? Come on. The, that's W. Wo, wo, wo. They're the same. One sound. The W and the W right here are both the W sound in white, 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 white. Okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. For example, Mm -hmm. Oh, wish, wish, which, W I S H, mm -hmm. W I S H, wish, wish, W I T C H, which, which. It's close, I know, they're very close, I know they're close. You're, that's this and this. 
Right there. Wish, witch, wish, witch. Okay, if you can um, be quiet for one second, I will record the sound and maybe you can watch and you can see. Wish, witch. Wish, which. Fish, which. Fish, which. Wish, which. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to see, but this first sound is wish, wish. And if you see here, the size, and if you see right here, this is the t wish, which, which, which. Right here, there's a break. That's the t sound. Wish, which, wish. Which, which, which. Yes, I know it's a little difficult for Thai students, but that's the difference there. Which, which. But we're going to practice this more after lunch, so don't worry. If it's still difficult, that's okay. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about your language, the Thai language. So, here are maybe there, the consonant sounds in Thai. And this is also on your handout number four, right here on the bottom. So just take a look for a minute. Think about how English and Thai are different. What's the difference? Where is the difference?
All right, let me show you one thing that's kind of special about your language, about Thai. The Thai language has a three-way, one, two, three, contrast between the bilabial stop consonants. That's right here. Thai is special. Most languages do not. Most languages like English, we have two. We have b and we have p. But Thai, you actually have three different sounds here. And that makes Thai a little bit special and a little bit unique. And for people like me, who study Thai, this becomes pretty hard. It's hard to go from b and p to that there. That's difficult. Okay? It's the same thing with your t and d. In English, we have t and d. But Thai actually has three different sounds there. And that's hard for people learning the Thai language. Okay. All right, now I'm going to ask you some questions. We're going to do some discussion in groups, okay? So it says comparing English and Thai. Refer to the two charts, chart number one, chart number two, and your brain, your knowledge of Thai and English to answer the following questions. So I'm going to give you two questions, and I'm going to ask you to work in groups and discuss the answers, okay? So here's question number one. It'll take about three minutes, maybe four minutes for question number one, and then three or four minutes for question number two, and I'll put some answers on the board here. Okay, this is question number one. What are the differences between English and Thai? Specifically, F, V, S, Z, P, B. What exactly are the differences between Thai and English? And I've got another little video there. I'll show you just quickly. It says, speaking with a Thai accent. All of you know something about Thai accent. English with Thai accent. Hi everyone, in this video I have collected some examples of the Thai accent for you in Thai. Okay. Okay, so just listen to some examples of the Thai accent from students. This is the things you hear every day. In this video, I have collected some examples of the Thai accent for you in Thai. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> I like the boy in there. Yummy, delicious. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so question number one to discuss. What are the specific differences in the consonants of English and Thai? Okay, so I'm going to give you 
four minutes. Try to work in a group of three or four people. Work in a little group. Talk, talk, talk. What is the difference between Thai and English? Okay. What's the difference? What letters? What sounds? Okay. Okay. For example? Okay. In English, I am. Ah, okay, good, good. English sentences go up and down. Thai words go up and down. English sentences go up. That's good. I agree. Good. And the question written sentence in Thai. Is it how Lu Yang? Yeah. Okay. Do you realize? Yeah, 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 yeah. In English, the rising tone on questions always. But um, this is about consonants. Just the the P and the B and the T and the D. Only, only the consonants. So the difference between this chart and this chart. For example, in English we have P and B, but in Thai we have three sounds. Also, for example, in English there's an F and a V, but in Thai what do you have? You have only the F sound, right? So that's an important difference between English and Thai. Only F, F and V. And in English we have TH, but in Thai, no, you don't have this sound. There is no sound. Like that. That's another difference. So think about how they're different. Okay, what do we have? The important differences. What? Hmm? Okay. What else? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. 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 No, my name. My name is Andy. Mm. And Thai people always say Andy. Yeah. Why? V. No V. Good. Z. No Z. That's really important. Good. T H. Don't have in Thai. Right. Good. Good. And P B. Okay. You have in Thai. T and D? Okay, you have. K and G? Yeah, pretty close. Mm -hmm. So, for Thai students, and for you, difficult here because it's not in Thai. Difficult here because you don't have it in Thai. Difficult here because you don't have it in Thai. Right, good, exactly.
Okay, let's talk about question number one up here. What are the differences in the consonant sounds? So the consonants are here, English, and here, Thai. So what are the big differences between this and this? Someone tell me. All right, so in uh, Thai, you have S, right? But in English, we have S and Z. That's important for you to understand the difference. Uh, in Thai, you have F, but in English, we have F and V. This is important for you because you don't have the sound in Thai. It's difficult for you and for your students. Uh, in English, we have the TH sound and the, what is this? The TH sound, is that right? Yeah, TH and TH. But in Thai, what do you have? You don't have this TH sound, right? right? You just don't have it in English. You have a different T, you have T and D, but you don't have the sound, okay? What else is different between Thai and English? The R is different. Good. I talked about this a little bit before. We have an R in Thai and we have an R in English, but the R is a different sound, right? I use my daughter's name, Nara, Nara. That's okay in Thai, Nara. But in English, Nara, Nara. So the R sound is different between Thai and English. Good. What else is different between Thai and English? What, you don't have? In Thai, let's Yeah, yeah, you kind of do. What else? Oh yeah, right. It always pronounced all the time. Oh, okay. So except for the final. Except if it's in the final position. Right, 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 right. But what you're saying is the Thai spelling and the Thai pronunciation are closer together than English. Yes, right. Yes. What else? Anything else that's really different here? Remember that in Thai we have uh, P and we have B and we have what the chart calls P. H p sound, and in English we only have P and B, right? And same thing with T and D. So those, for example, this makes Thai difficult for me. Going this way, from English to Thai, that's hard for me to do. But for you, going this way, from Thai to English, this is hard for you to do. So it depends. If you're learning English, this is difficult, going like this. But if you're learning Thai, going like this is difficult. And R and R, it's kind of both ways is difficult. Okay? Other big differences? I think that's most important. And remember the voiceless and the voiced. Okay? In English, we always have pairs of sound. P, b, f, v, t, d. They come together in twos. In Thai, different, I think. Okay? All right, so those are some of the big differences between English and Thai. And the second question we already talked about a little. But take another maybe two minutes and think about this. What pronunciation issues do you and other Thai learners of English struggle with the most? Okay? What's really hard for you in English and your students? What's really hard for your students in English? Okay. Uh, we're going to use the microphone a little bit and I'm going to let you answer this question. So. What pronunciation issues do you 
and your students struggle with? What is difficult for you? What's the most difficult thing for you? Okay, answers? No volunteers? You want me to volunteer for you? Volunteers, anyone? No, no, no? I have answers, but I'd like to know your answers. Three, two, one, thank you. Okay, please listen. For me, I think uh, the consonant and the. Ah, okay. It's the, very. The th sound. Th yeah. sound. Because Be in Thai, in Thai we no don't sound. have this sound. Perfect, good, thank you. I agree. Excellent. Anyone else have ideas? What's difficult for you? English is hard. I know English is hard. Any ideas? Three, two, one. Okay, good. I've got another answer back here. Good. Can you pass that back? I. Yes. I think the the most difficult for me is the final sound. Good. Sometimes I I never remember E D sound. I never I never I forget them all. Uh -huh. Yeah, E D <laughs> sound. You know. I yeah. Know. Yes, I yeah. <laughs> so it's very dif difficult. Sometimes I I feel dizzy. I sometimes I yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just I'm listening to you now, and I'm thinking, yes, you're right. Yeah, you the final sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I good. think it's very final sounds. Yeah, final, final consonant sound. sounds. Yes, final consonants. Good, good, yes. good, good. Anybody else? Other ideas? Lots of things are hard. Okay, go ahead. Yes, thank you. Okay, so for me, for the English is like a stress. Uh -huh. So stress. yeah, good. the stress in the sentence or the word because good, good. we don't know in Thai we don't know how to stress where, uh, from uh, where to stress like uh, in the sen first first of the consonant or right. in the uh -huh. middle of the the words or in where the in the sentence to mm. put the yeah. stress. Yes, mm. right. And English stress is really important, mm. and in yes. Thai not so much. Good. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to talk to you about my ideas here, some things you already said. Uh, voiced and voiceless. F, V, S, Z. That's difficult for Thai learners. Laterals. The L and the R, laterals. Final consonants, we talked about that. And final consonants is very similar to final morphemes. Probably morpheme is a new word. That's okay. ED and S. It's grammar, grammar, grammar. The grammar endings, past tense, plural, S. So the ED, want or wanted. Work, works. That is difficult. And then imposing Thai tones. That's when you take my name, Andy, and everybody says, Andy. I don't know why that happens, really. But <laughs> always. People said it's because you're happy. And you're, I don't know. But there's a Thai language has tones. The words have tones. English does not. So you take Thai tones, you put them onto English words. So that's a problem also, I think. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five there. So I'm going to give them to you on a piece of paper. I have one, two, three, four, five here. One, two, three, four, five here. So let's do number one up here in the front. Make a group for number one. Let's do number five. 
over here. Make a group for number five. We'll do number four over here. Number two somewhere over here. And number three somewhere in the back. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So I gave each of you a strip of paper, piece of paper. And I want you, it's one, two, three, four, five. I want you to answer this discussion question. Why is this, this, why is this particular issue hard for Thai students? And what types of errors are likely for Thai students? What do Thai students do wrong because of this? What kind of problems? Okay, so you got about five minutes. Use your paper and answer those two questions, okay? Okay. Okay, so please listen while we talk a little bit, okay? F and V, S and Z, someone wants to say something? Thank you. Okay, shh. And v. Right. Uh, and z. Good. Uh, it's very hard for Thai students because in Thai, Thai language, we don't have this cons consonant. Right. And so when we speak in English, we use this word that the same sound like in Thai. Right. Uh, for example, uh, we use very very mm -hmm. and very mm. we use uh, for very we use the f mm -hmm. good the f sound mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. <laughs> excellent uh, anything else Are you finished uh, and the s s uh, s and the for example easy mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. Uh, in Thai, we d we it's very difficult to uh, to pronounce z, so we use s mm -hmm. instead. Easy, pen, easy. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Perfect. Good. That's fine. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let me. Okay, so voiced and voiceless. Uh, F and V, like you said, uh, Thai has the voiceless F, but not the V, right, in Thai. S and Z, Thai has the voiceless S, but not the Z. So what happens when you or your students are speaking English? What happens? Well, because Thai has only the voiceless sounds, English learners, learners often use F for V and S for Z. And that's what you do and that's what your students do also. And you need to hear that and help your students improve. Okay? All right, so that's F and V. The next is L and R. Where's L and R? Okay, let's try L and R. There you go. For our group, we think that L and R is very, very difficult to pronounce. For example, oh, the first the first question is why? Right. Why? Why is <laughs> difficult uh, for Thai students? I think that. There, they come from another places. <laughs> so this is my answer. And then the next question is, I I like to show you about the word the different. Yeah, for example, wrong and long. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rice, rice, and lice. Right. That's yeah. good pronunciation. Good, good. And lock, and 
Rock. Perfect. Good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yes, and yes. I agree with that. If you change the L and the R, lock and rock, we've got two different words in English, two totally different words. Lice, rice. This is a big problem. Rice is good food that you eat. Rice. I like lice. It's that little white thing in your hair, the little animal that lives in your hair. So you need to be careful with lice and rice. They're very different. I got the dog story from from my friends. Uh -huh. Yeah, they go to the restaurant and they uh, they order. You know, that that they, they are Thai people when they go to the uh, rest restaurant in in the board. You know. Yes. Yeah, and. They they order uh -huh. fry sorry fry fry rice Lice, yes. yeah <laughs> the chef is very confused there <laughs> yeah so okay that's why the L and the R are important because you don't they want cannot, to eat yeah they fried cannot fry the the lice, the lice. lice yeah. yeah to fry the <laughs> yeah. You understand? Perfect. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Yes. Yeah. It's a very good example of the L and the R. <laughs> it's difficult. I agree with you. Uh, let me add just a little bit. Uh, L and R. Thai has what we call a kind of a rolling R sound, which I can't do. <laughs> I can't make that sound, but it's right here. Um, and I, I talked to my wife about this, so maybe you agree, maybe you don't agree. But today, many Thai people are changing the R with the L sound in their kind of common speech. So this sound is kind of becoming this for people who are speaking fast and what my wife calls like lazy, lazy Thai. I think it's just interesting that language changes, but also it's what young people do. You hear this with my bun light, my bun light. I, I always hear my bun lai, L, my bun lai. It's not how it's written in Thai, but that's what people say, I think. So that's a little problem for the R and the L sound. It's changing in Thai, I think. So that makes it more confusing, too. Okay, microphone to final consonants. Where's final consonants? I think back here. Okay, for our final consonants, because a uh, Thai student not use uh, not use in Thai. Right. In Thai, we we not use final consonants. Right. So difficult for a Thai student to to say the words with final consonants right. too. Um, for example, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. for example, the word math. Uh -huh. Mat and mat. Yeah, good. Thai people, uh, Thai student, uh, say the same one. Right. Mat. Mat. Good. 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 Perfect. It's good. not different. Okay. Let me give you my idea. Um, Thai final consonants. So in Thai, um, Thai final consonants are limited, and they are not released like English. Listen to my English. Worked, worked, worked. You never do that in Thai. Worked, right? You never do that in Thai. Yes, you do have final consonants in Thai, but you don't release the sound. Worked. You don't do that in Thai. There are 22 consonant sounds in Thai, I think, right? And there are only really six consonants you put in the final position. I have a little chart of that. Yeah. I think this is okay. My wife agreed mostly with it. So in your language, in Thai, the final sounds, k, p, t, these are all what? These are all voiceless. These are unvoiced. K, p. T. These are the voiceless sounds. They're not g. They're not b. They're not d. They are voiceless final sounds. And right here, you have all of the 
nasal, the nose final sounds. Mm, mm, mm. These are the nasal sounds. So in Thai, you have voiceless and nasal sounds for finals. That's really different from English, where we release, wanted, worked. And that's hard for students, I think. Okay, uh, final morphemes. Final morphemes, microphone. Ah, great. I can do it if you want me to do it, that's fine. For Thai students, uh, uh, the problem about words reading and uh, all past ten verb with ed. Example: want, feel ed, and prayed, feel ed. One wanted in Thai uh, for Thai students uh, say want. Yes, good. Okay, good, 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 good. and played. Yes. Okay, the same right, right, right. and different. Right. And um, please, uh, and S, mm -hmm. fill with S, mm -hmm. and says, uh, example, laps, mm -hmm. and hounds. Good, good, good yeah. English, good. Okay, yes, different good. for yeah, Thai right. student. Good, 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 perfect. I agree completely, that's good. Um, this is similar to final consonants, so final morphemes, E, D, and S. Thai does not release final consonants. So, works, worked. Thai students, what do I hear? I hear work and I hear work. Or work and work. Work, work. It sounds all, for me, it sounds all the same. Work, work, work. And that's work, works, worked. Also, in Thai, this is important also, in Thai, you don't have ed you don't have past tense in thai you don't change your verbs in thai right you don't do that in thai also with the s you don't make plural nouns by adding an s you don't do that in thai the thai language doesn't change the nouns and the verbs so that's important also i think all right uh what else final morphemes this is important they are essential for English because it's the difference between the present and the past. That's really, really important in English. They are essential for understanding English. But this is important also. Thai students often cannot hear or produce the differences. And I know because I've given many listening tests in Thai, I stand up and I say, okay, students, write down, worked. And all the students write W-O-R-K. They can't hear my past tense. They just can't hear it because they also can't produce it. Hearing and producing go together. And you need to practice both of those with your students. You need to teach them to hear and teach them to speak. Okay, they're both important. All right, finally, imposing Thai tones. Where's Thai tones? Putting Thai tones onto English words. Okay, because some people don't have knowledge mm -hmm. about stress, mm -hmm. how to stress, and how to pronunciation. Good. Uh, the most Thai people have more back background knowledge mm -hmm. about Thai language mm -hmm. structure mm -hmm. good, okay. good, 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 good. and they don't understand in English tone or English pronunciation mm -hmm. uh, for example words such as happy Thai mm -hmm. uh, Thai student happy mm -hmm. happy mm -hmm. no, happy copy yeah, copy. Uh, right. Copy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Copy. Hungry. Uh -huh. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, look like video. Mm -hmm. Example. Oh, like the video, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the examples were is good. Is this good example? Yeah, very good examples in the video. Yeah, the boy in the video yeah, was yeah. very good. 
All right, let me just give you my idea here. I talked to you about my name, right? And E. We hear it with Tesco also. It's the same. Tesco, I don't know. Commonly called Tinglish. When we talk about Tinglish, Thai English, Tinglish, this is what we're talking about, Tinglish. And this is what you're trying to help your students with, help them with their Tinglish. I am the language teacher. I'm still not really sure why this happens so much. I don't know exactly. I know in Thai, you've got a little marker here at the end that tells you that the, it goes up, right? But I don't know why you can't just kind of take it away and don't use it. It would be better English pronunciation without the rising tone. Andy doesn't need to be ND. It can be Andy. Andy? Andy. Falling is fine. So I'm not sure why this is a big problem, but it is a problem. It creates Tinglish. Uh, Thai English. Tinglish. And <laughs> we don't like Tinglish. We want Tinglish to kind of go away. So you need to help your students and yourselves, help yourselves and your students with their Tinglish. All right. <laughs> Questions? Phonetics, bilabial, interdental, alveolar, velar, fricative, affricate, voiced, voiceless, and morpheme. So just sit down, think, do you remember what these things mean? Phonetics. Phonetics is the sounds of the language, the sound of the language. Bilabial, two lips. Interdental, between your teeth. Alveolar, that's the top of your mouth. Velar, that's the back of your mouth. Fricative, some kind of constriction, vibration. Affricate, that starts with a stop and finishes with fricative. Voiced, voiceless, no vibration. And morphemes, morphemes are like ed and s. It's the grammar of the language, the grammar. Okay, you probably will forget some of these words. I don't care. I just want you to know how to pronounce in English. That's what's important. Okay, after we have lunch, you're gonna come back and you're gonna sit in here and we're gonna practice and practice and practice the F and the V, and the S, and the Z, and the final ED. I want you to practice it, and practice it, and practice it to build up your confidence so you can go work with your students and help your students practice, and practice, and practice. So we're gonna talk about one, two, three, and four after we have lunch, okay? All right, any questions? <clears throat> 